So there has been a misconception for years about Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees, them being quote unquote the same character. Now as a fan of both Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees, I kind of take offense to this. Just because they're both mast wielding maniacs who don't talk and are extremely hard to kill doesn't mean they're exactly the same. There are many, many qualities that these two have that make them special and stand out. For instance, Michael Myers has no motive or reason to kill people, nor should he ever have a motive or reason because that's what makes it scary the fact that he has no conscience no emotion he doesn't care he doesn't care about anything so maybe he doesn't care about pain which is why he's always getting up all the time that's what halloween 6 and the rob zombie movies fail to understand halloween 6 has this whole bs with the cults where michael is under the influence of this cult who are trying to lift this curse by this thorn constellation which only appears on halloween night and this curse is spreading disease so in order to lift the curse michael has to kill his whole bloodline which is stupid and the Rob Zombie remake explores why Michael kills because of troubled home life and bullying at school. We should never humanize him or give him any reason or purpose for why he kills people because it makes it less scary. And it takes away and ruins the mystique of Michael Myers. When Dr. Loomis says that he's possessed by evil, he doesn't mean that literally. Like there's a demon attached to him. Michael Myers is a metaphor that a human being can be the scariest monster we've ever seen or that we could ever imagine. He's supposed to appear supernatural. Kind of like in Black Lagoon where Rock compares Roberta to the Terminator. Like he's not saying she is a killer robot from the future, but that the comparison to how insanely ruthless she is, is an accurate comparison. So Michael getting up from taking so much damage, bullet holes to the chest, knife wounds, all of it makes him appear otherworldly. But he is still at the end of the day, flesh and blood. No one gave him this power now Jason on the other hand should always have motive it started back with his mom Jason drowned because of the negligence of the camp counselors she freaked out killed a few camp shuts down years later camp is trying to get back up she tries to kill everybody almost succeeds too but Jason watches his mom die so he wants to fulfill his mother's wishes he's a mama's boy he wants to continue what his mother started so he becomes a spirit of vengeance or a grudge one of the things I love about Kane Hodder is what he does is that you see that rage, the heavy breathing. This is a man with motive. This is an angry motherfucker. Now, Jason coming back from the dead, yeah, that, that's literal. Is that like, yes, he's a living supernatural zombie. That's what makes him interesting. That's what makes him special. I really hope we get that movie where he explains how he's supernatural. That'd be really cool. I mean, in the comic, Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, he had a Necronomicon. I mean, it would make a lot of sense that his mom found a way to bring him back and would make sure that he would stay alive somehow. 